Hello everyone, we have an exponential equation on the board. 9 to the power of x minus 16 to the power of y equals 65. And so in this equation, we're going to solve for those two variables, x and y. Okay. And so in this equation, uh, how it's uh, presented is that x must be greater than y. So that's the value of x must be greater than y. So in that case, how are we going to solve it? My approach in solving this kind of equation is by the use of the substitution. So, and uh, if you notice the base are these two with the uh, exponent x and exponent y, these are perfect squares. So first step would be is square the base. All right, let's do that. So let's start up with uh, writing the equation again. 9 to the power of x minus 16 power y equals 65. And now we're following the first step that is reducing that uh, the base with our perfect square. So 9 could be written the same way as 3 squared to the power of x. And minus 16 could be written the same way as 4 squared to the power of y equals 65. So from here on the on the first term, this could be written the same way as 3 to the power of x squared. And here we're following the exponent formula, that is a raised to m raised to n could be written the same way as a raised to n raised to m. So we're switching the, the places, the exponents can be switched. So right here, x was outside now it's inside the parentheses that's uh, that's the same way and minus the second term will be doing the same way so that is 4 raised to y raised to second power is equal to 65 and from here we're using the substitution method so I'm letting let a be equal to 3 to the power of x this is the first term, and then the second term, let b be 4 raised to the power of y. So we're substituting in these first two terms of the equation. So the equation now is, so this is now a squared minus b squared is equal to 65. And so for the left side of the equation, a squared minus b squared, we're using this uh, identity or is what we call the special factors a squared minus b squared equals a minus b times the quantity a plus b so we're using that on here so this is now a minus b quantity a plus b is equal to 65 and from here now since we have two factors two binomial factors we're gonna get the factor of 65 to get that factor of 65 since this is 65 is divisible by 5 all we have to do is divide by 5 so 6 divided by 5 is 1 15 divided by 5 is 3 so the factors of 65 is 5 and 13 so we're using that as a factor on here and the right side of the equation now is equal to 5 times 13 and the left side remains the same a minus b times the quantity a plus b and based on this uh, equation if you notice this one is, is smaller than this one right and so on the right side of the equation the factor is 5 and 13 so 5 should uh, should be equated to the factor that is, is smaller since 5 is smaller than 13 so here is now a minus b is equal to 5 and the other one which is uh, the other one is bigger a plus b so it should be equated with 13 so a plus b equals 13 so a minus b is 5 and a plus b is 13 so from these two factors right here now we we just equated that uh, a minus b is 5 and a plus b is 13, the bigger factor of 65. 
and uh, in here since uh, we have just we have two variables and we don't have any other equations involved we can name this equation one and this as equation two and from here out of these two equations we're doing elimination method that means we're comparing both equations one and two so in here if you know this a minus b right here a plus b over here if we add this up so we have here now equation one adding it to equation two so equation one is this a minus b equals five equation two is a plus b equals 13. so from here we're adding this both so we have now a plus a is 2a this one cancels and equals to 5 plus 13. So 2a is equal to 5 plus 13, that's 18. So from here, divide by 2, both sides. So that cancels. Now, now a is now 18 divided by 2 is 9. So we get that value of a and uh, substitute this value of a to either equation 1 or equation 2 to get the value of b. So let's have that. So let's substitute this value a is 9 on onto equation 1. So 2 equation 1. Substitute that one. So from equation 1 is uh, a minus b is equal to 5. And a is 9. So 9 minus b equals 5. So solving for b over here. Transposing b to the right side. And then transposing 5 to the left side. So this is now... 9 minus 5 equals b and 9 minus 5 is 4 that's equal to b and since a and b are substituted variables in place of uh, 3 to the power of x for a and b the uh, 4 to the power of y from earlier so these values over here so here a is 9 where a is uh, equal to 3 raised to x and b over here is equal to 4 raised to y. Up right here, solving for x, substitute the value of a as 9, so this is equal to 9. And uh, 3 to power x is equal to 9 can be written the same way as 3 squared. So from here, we have the same base, and so we're equating the exponent from the power formula or exponent formula that is a raised to b equals a raised to c then b equals to c so here x is equal to 2 is the answer and on the b side where the value of b is 4 so 4y is equal to 4 and 4 can be written the same way as uh, 4 raised to 1 so 4 raised to the power of y is equal to 4 raised to the power of 1 we had the same situation over here where the base are the same so in here we're creating the exponent so here now therefore y is equal to 1 so that is the value of y and x is equal to 2 and if we were to check our answer we have to substitute the value of y and value of x to the original equation Check our answer. Original equation 9 to the power of x minus 16 to the power of y is equal to 65. And value of x is 2. So 9 raised to the second power minus 16 raised to y is 1. Is that equal to 65? Question. So in here, 9 squared is 81 minus 16 to the power of 1 is 16 is that equal to 65 well 81 minus 16 is 65 so 65 is equal to 65 so this just confirms that the value of y is correct that's 1 and value of x is 2 is correct we've just found the solution to this equation the value of x is 2 y is 1 Alright, so that's all for now and uh, for those new to my channel, I would appreciate it if you can hit the like button and subscribe for more videos.
Thank you very much and I will see you on the next videos. Have a great day everyone. Bye.